When you create your Blackboard course, you probably don't want your students to have access to all of the content of your course right away. How do you set your course up so that the lessons open each week or your desired interval as you move through the semester? One route is to show and hide navigation items. You do this by clicking on the menu button next to the lesson name in the navigation and choose Hide Link. You can confirm that the link is hidden when you see a gray box with a small line through it next to the name of the item. I'm going to do that for all of my lessons, but I'm going to leave week one available since students will need to access that area when the semester starts. Now, let's take a look at how a student will see this. Viewing from our test student account, we have all of these navigation items and tools, and also we can only see week one. The thing to watch out for with this availability technique is that a student might not anticipate more items showing up in the navigation. This may create difficulty navigating your course the same way you would have difficulty if the navigation of a website often changed. The next option you can use is to have all of your navigation be available to students and go to each item in your Blackboard course to make it unavailable. However, this method involves far too much manual labor. Instead, you can set this process to be automated, which we will look at in a second. The reason I'm showing you this option is that it's great for keeping teacher's notes and tools in the unit without the worry of it becoming a cheat sheet to your students. The way we encourage instructors to set the availability of their content is through the date and time restrictions. Blackboard can automatically show and hide any content when using this feature. If I don't want students to have access to this assignment until a specific date and time, I can choose that here in Blackboard and it will automatically make it available at that time. Since you need to do this for each item in Blackboard, it can take some time to set up this type of availability, but it will save you time down the road. And you won't have to rush to your computer at midnight on a Sunday to open up the next lessons in Blackboard. Also, if I want to hide this assignment so that students no longer have access to submit it after a certain date, I can set that here and Blackboard will automatically hide it at that time. Make sure the checkbox is also selected. Now let's look at this as a student. Viewing from our test student account, we have all of these navigation items and tools and also all of the lessons. If we click on a lesson, we can see the course banner, but where is everything else? The page looks strange and we might start thinking something is wrong with our computer or Blackboard. So how do we fix this as an instructor? Back in our instructor account, my recommendation is to make use of an introduction content item as a way to communicate that the lesson is currently locked. I'm going to copy this introduction and save it in the same lesson. The copy of the introduction is at the bottom of the page, so we will move it to the top and choose to edit it. I'm going to add an image of this lock icon from my content collection. Now I'm going to uncheck display after since I want this message with the lock to be shown to students until the lesson opens. Once that time is reached, I want this lock introduction to hide while the rest of the content opens. This means that we will use the display until fields. For this example, I have my lessons of my course open at the very start of the week, which is midnight on a Sunday. So I need this item to hide one minute before at 11.59 p.m. on the prior Saturday. Once I'm done, I'll click submit. We now have two versions of the introduction that we will see as an instructor. But let's go back to the student test account to see how this looks. Back in the student account, I'm going to open the lesson and I can clearly see that it is locked and when it will open up. I know as an instructor, it took several steps to get to this point, but I know my course is now set to have all of the content shown hide to a student without having to log in manually and do it myself. And students can also see what's coming up and what to expect for a better user experience through the course.